Hi there. In this project, we will measure constant voltages using a digital multimeter, or DMM. In previous tutorials, we explored the voltmeter tool built into the analog discovery device. Now we're going to use a separate device called a digital multimeter to do basically the same thing. Our demos in this video will use the DMM, which is available for purchase on Digilent's website. Most DMMs work about the same way, so these instructions should apply no matter what device you're using. In order to measure a constant voltage with your DMM, first twist the dial until the indicator lines up with the V with a bar over it. We also need to connect our leads to the appropriate holes in the DMM. To measure a voltage, insert one lead into the COM terminal and the other lead into the port labeled with a V and an ohm symbol. There may be other symbols on this port as well, but we won't worry about them yet. As we saw in previous projects about voltage measurement, voltages have a polarity. The polarity provides a sign convention to help determine which terminal has a higher voltage. On the DMM, the terminal labeled COM, short for common, is the assumed negative terminal. The terminal labeled volt ohm is the assumed positive terminal. It's customary to use a red lead for the positive terminal and a black lead for the negative terminal. If the positive lead of the DMM is connected to the higher voltage in a circuit and the COM terminal connected to a lower voltage, the voltage difference displayed will be positive. If the leads are reversed so that the COM terminal is at the higher voltage, the displayed voltage will be negative. Reversing the leads changes the sign on the displayed voltage. As an example, let's measure the voltage difference across the terminals of this battery. One of the terminals of the battery has a plus sign next to it, indicating that it has a higher voltage. If we measure the voltage difference across the terminals with the volt ohm terminal of the DMM connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the COM terminal of the DMM connected to the negative terminal of the battery, we get about positive 6 volts, as we'd expect. If we reverse the leads, we get about negative 6 volts. Now let's measure the voltages in this circuit we used in the Analog Discovery Voltmeter Tutorial Project. In that circuit, we used the Analog Discovery Fixed Positive Voltage Supply, V+, to light up an LED. We measured the voltages across the LED and the resistor with these polarities. Let's make the same measurements with our digital multimeter. In our circuit, the voltage V1 is the voltage difference across the diode with the anode at the assumed higher voltage. To measure this voltage, connect the volt ohm lead to the diode's anode and the com lead to the diode's cathode. We get a measured voltage of about 2.1 volts. Now let's measure the voltage across the resistor, V2. Our assumed voltage polarity from our earlier slide is that the terminal connected to the diode is at the higher voltage. Connecting the volt ohm terminal of the DMM to that point and the com terminal to the voltage supply results in a measured voltage of about negative 2.9 volts. The minus sign indicates that the actual voltage polarity is opposite to our assumption, but that shouldn't bother us since we know how to interpret the negative sign. 